that moment when the races collide like an ununified spectrum of similar differences. Where the divide is beyond the mathematical symbol and now a part of the gentrified lifestyles of the not accepted. Or the unacceptable differences with the many unnoticed similarities. Getting to the point where self-reflections in mirrors become the reflections of self-reflection. The forms of analysis and scrutinies as you socially disaccept yourself. Dissecting the genetic form carved from the deepest menelin with the hint of damn. Questioning them as the social unacceptable deformities. My brown eyes, the dark circles that surround the chocolate hazelnut ovals, outlined with the rim of the curliest dark flicks of hair. My nose, although of Caucasian resemblance with the straight bridge when followed to the top aligns with the thickest lips that only the melancholic have. As I keep dissecting the perfect Nubian queen that I am, the reality of the issues that I am faced with, I am now questioning the skin. No, my skin I'm wearing. The ebony skin that houses the skeletal frame which resembles those that are unaccepting of the person I am. So I pause. I take a moment to reflect on the reflection of the moments I've been reflecting on. You see, I've come to realise that what are issues to them, the them of the unknowingly ignorant, the them of the because I don't understand how your skin stays dark and the plaits laid down are only issues to them. But due to my love of self, I understand that your ignorance nearly failed my own self-love. So I vow to me that only love of self will be the love that carries me forth into the forever and ever our men till death does my soul and physical body part i vow to have love of self <laughs>